What I'm going to share to you is on how to determine the length of the lattice rectum of a parabola in less than five seconds or maybe less than two seconds. Do you think it's possible? Okay. Wait there, no? Uh, but this is for board exam, kwan lang, and then use or application. Uh, using the nearest sipat sipat style. Ah. Okay. So, ang parabola, um, it's under the main subject, analytic geometry. And under this subject, uh, it, uh, it includes lines and conic sections. And under conic sections, there are four of them, uh, namely circle, parabola, ellipse, and hyperbola. Latus uh, rectum, naasa parabola, naasa sa ellipse, and hyperbola. Pero specific ni, it's about the lattice rectum ay parabola. Kung sa technique na ang pwede na itong gamit. Okay, so. Let's define first what a parabola is. A parabola is a locus of a moving point which moves so that it is always equidistant from a fixed point called the focus and a fixed line called directrix. So, Pasabot sa locus, oh. ang parabolada, it's a curve that connects all the points where in each point, pag mag-move siya, the point is always uh, equidistant from a focus and to its directrix. So, kada move niya, ang distance niya to the focus, same lang sa iyang distance going to the directrix. So all of those points, you connect na nimo, ang curve na form nimo is parabola. So important points here, you have the vertex. So kung mag-open siya sa right, ang pinaka-left na point is vertex. Pag mag-open sa left, ang pinaka-right po, opening downward, highest point, and then opening upward, the lowest point is called the vertex. Okay, directrix, by the way, it's a line that is perpendicular to the axis of the parabola. And from this one, natay A, the A is the distance from focus to vertex. Why is it na same lang sila? Base lang ni dali. No. Na every time mag move siya, it is equidistant from a fixed point called the focus and a fixed line called the directrix. Therefore, kung ang moving point is located at the vertex, o naan siya the area, o ang yung distance at the focus, equal ra sa iyo distance going to the directrix. That is why equal na sila. And then, we have this. The latus rectum, it is a cord drawn through the focus. So, mga gisa sa focus, and also perpendicular siya sa axis of symmetry of the cord. And for a parabola, the length of the lattice rectum is equal to 4a. Sa ellipse of hyperbola, dili 4a. Lahi ito. Parabola lang yung 4a. Okay. So, let us know the general equation of a parabola. Okay. Duha lang na. Okay. This one, cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f equal to zero. But if this is the equation, then the axis is horizontal. So meaning, it's either it's opening to the right or opening to the left. And the other one is this one, ax squared plus dx plus ey plus f equal to zero. The axis and a vertical. So it's either opening upward or downward. Now, if you'll notice, lahe lahe sa, because this is taken from the general equation of a conic section. That is ax squared plus bxy plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f. Uh, so, 
you will know that it is a parabola if the equation contains only one second degree term. So it's either y squared lang or x squared lang. Parabola na siya. Okay. Oh. Ang pag-determine o pag-identify whether axis horizontal or vertical, personal na na ang kining diskarte. No? So, you must have your own mnemonic or kining technique. Eh. Ako personally, I have my own technique or my own style uh, para ma-determine ako ha mag-open ang parabola. And I am using the power of the variables. Okay, for example, this one, I'm using the power of the variable. The highest power of x is 1, while the highest power of y is 2. So, 1 ang x, 2 ang y. So, mag-plot ko, pointa na, 1 for x, or horizontal, 2 sa so y, up and down. And then, i-trace na ko. So, it's either open to the left or right siya. Dependent na lang. After it transform into standard form, that's the time that you will know oh, nga aga open siya right or left. Although, at first, boy, dead, pero later na lang. Eh? <clears throat> See. And for this, this one, for the vertical, uh, the highest power of x is 2. Or y, it's 1. So, 1 for y, 2 for x, left and right, and then downward or upward depends on the standard form. So if you want to know immediately, as I'm open, ay nana. Pag uh, when you write the equation, you make sure na positive ang first term ba. So pag positive ne, open to the left. Pag, pag negative, open to the right. So this one, pag positive downward, pag negative upward. Okay. And again, lay lahat ang style. Mga ito akong style. For the standard equation, so may parabola. Actually, there are eight. Okay. Four ka standard equations when the vertex is at the origin. And then four equations when the vertex is at another point HK. Y4, mano 4, uh, one equation opening to the right, one equation opening to the left, one upward, one downward. Okay. But let us focus on this one where the vertex is not located at the origin. Nasa HK. Okay. So, for axis horizontal, right and left, ay naan eh lang. So, positive, opening to the right, negative, opening to the left. And for vertical, up and down, positive, upward, negative, downward. Okay. So, the main problem here, um, kung sa problema sa student, nga na maglisod siya sa analytic geometry is on transforming a general equation to standard equation. So, kato ka ganina, problema to, sa na yung pag-transform na mahimo sa standard form. Okay. So, inaan eh lang. First, let us focus on the left side. Or this one. Basta left side. Because the left side is a perfect square. Diba? And from the general equation, it's possible na dili to perfect square na to. So, sa only mo, namahin mo siyang perfect square. So, in this case, let us review sa algebra on how to complete the square. Okay, example. Perfect square eh. X minus 3 squared. If you will expand this, maunin siya. Perfect square trinomial X squared plus 6X plus 9. Now, if you are given a problem, it's possible na dili yung anani ang given. Dili ni tanan. It's either the constant term is more than 9 or less than 9. So, dili siya perfect square. So, ang saan mo anani mo? Okay. So, let's consider na ang given is the second degree and the first degree. 
And then our objective now is to determine the constant term. So let us have this one. Uh, let's use again this. Oh, ang given is kanya lang x squared minus 6x. What's the value of this? Assuming na wala ka baluan niya. What you will do is you divide this one, coefficient of the first degree term, you divide them of two, and the result is negative three. Kalang negative three is squared and nimo, mo na yung constant term. And also, kini negative three, mo na ibotang nimo dali. And you simplify and you have this. Uh, so every time tagaan kag second degree or first degree term ang paggawa sa constant is kini lang divide by 2 and then square and then that's the constant term okay na see let us solve a simple problem para ma demonstrate na daw the equation of a parabola is 2x squared plus 8x minus 7y minus 20 equal to 0. Determine the length of the lattice rectum. Okay. So you have this. Okay. The first step ni Mane is transpose the variable with no second degree term as well as the constant to the right. So you transpose ni mo to the right as well as 20. So uh, this is the result. Okay. Now, sa completing the square, dito pwede ang completing the square if the second degree term has a numerical coefficient. So therefore, you have to extract this one. Extract nyo. And this is the result. Okay. This time, pwede na. Pwede na nyo siya. So, uh, nag tag 4. Where did, we, where did we get this four? number? 4 divided by 2. It's 2 square. Okay, 4. Now, on the right side, mag-adjust ka. Same lang. Kung unsa yung mag-adjust sa left, same po di mong i-adjust sa right. So, nag-add ka 4 times 2. Add po di mo sa right. So that, in effect, cancel din sila. Ba? Okay. Uh, Ang resulta, this is now a perfect square. Oh. And finally, sa so standard form, wala i factor there o numerical coefficient. So that's the time na i-divide ni mo. Oh. Before that, um, extract sa ni mo ng 7. Oh. And then I have a divide and 2. Um. So this is now the standard equation of the parabola. Uh, uh, this one. So from this, as you can see, there is no numerical coefficient on the left side. Uh, that is why I give you divide into two. And uh, this is our lattice rectum 4a. And this there, our lattice rectum is 3.5. And since 3.5 is equal to 4a, then our a is 3.5 over 4. And that's 0.875. So actually, there is nag end ang problem. Kinakuha naman ito ang length ng lattice rectum. But if you want to extend the problem, i-plot ni mga pwede rapad. So yung nani ang pag-plot sa parabola. First is the vertex. The vertex is located at negative 2, negative 4. Why? Because the standard, the standard equation, default na negative. And since positive 2 ta, therefore, ang h na to is negative 2. Because ang, ang, analysis, ang consideration na ni is x minus negative 2. Para ma-positive siya. So therefore, our h is negative 2. And our k is negative 4. So, I plot nyo from the origin. Negative 2 ang x. Negative 4 ang y. Money ang vertex. And then, opening upward. Kaya positive man eh. So, opening upward. 
So after the vertex, you can now plot the focus and also the directrix. Okay. This one, we all know that the distance from the vertex to the focus is A. Ba? And since our A is 0 0.875, then for the for its coordinates, from the vertex, you go up by A. So ang Y niya, which is negative 4, plus 0.875, and you have negative 3.125. While on the directrix, you go down by a distance of A, and negative 4 minus A, and you have this. Uh, this is the equation of the directrix. And after this, the ends of the latus rectum, uh, since 4 A is uh, on both sides, 2 A, 2 A. Uh, times 2 sa A is 1.75. So, from the focus, minus 175 plus and 1. All of the three points have the same y coordinate. Ang x lang, negative 2 minus 175, this one, negative 2 plus 175. Pwede na nyo trace ang um, parabola. Ana. So, this is the correct procedure. Eh? Money ang pwede madawat sa undergrad. Pero sa board exam, do not do this. Eh? Because this will take time. That is why I'm sharing my technique. Para makasave mo. Eh? So, same problem. Uh, the length of the lattice rectum. So again, my technique is the sipat-sipat style. <laughs> Sipat-sipat. So, how do I do it? Okay. This is what you're going to do. Eh? You just divide the coefficient of the variable with no second degree term. For this problem, y ang variable with no second degree term. So, ang yang coefficient is negative 7, but actually, you can disregard the sign. O, kaya ang latus rectum na to, numerical value lang man to. Ang sign na to, will just determine kung asa ga open ng parabola. So, consider the numerical value lang. 7, i-divide ni mo sa coefficient of the second degree term, 2. So, 7 over 2, 3.5. Ba? Wow. <laughs> okay. So, if in case na problem sa bodhisem na similar ane, eh, ang pangitao na lang sa lato sa rektum, oh, dali ra. 7 divided by 2, 3.5. And probably it's less than two seconds. Okay. I hope na nakuha niyo, and I know it's very simple. So, thank you for watching. <laughs>